back, I just wanted to show you guys my present filming setup. It's not as neat as it should be, but forgive me for that. A lot has changed since last year. I just wanted to have a reminder of what it is right now. I still have the Kalat shelving unit from IKEA. That's how they pronounce that in Swedish. The 8 shelves and the 4 shelves, they're very handy for storing. That's why I have my coffee maker and my blender in my filming area. For lighting, I did step up my game and since April of 2015, from an uh, natural lighting to vanity mirrors, now to a pair of soft box, then finally last Christmas, my husband gave me my diva ring light. I'm still using my Nikon D5300 and I have a couple of lenses but my favorite is the 50mm for that beautiful bouquet background. I found this desk tripod from our trip in Japan. I use this for those close-up eye makeup tutorials that you see in my channel. For my talk-through videos, my loved and abused Rode Pro microphone which I think is really good investment for any YouTuber. SD cards. I'm obsessed with buying this every time. I highly suggest taking the class 10 types and investing on a higher memory for those long film hours and a faster speed because it really helps you when you transfer your files for editing. Everything works fast now. In most of my videos, you will see this setup, a couple of individual pieces which I find cute and some inspirational quotes which I printed and for the most part, I have pictures of me and my husband and on the wall as well. I like to change them up in between, especially on makeup tutorials. I use this sequin cloth that is very in right now. Thank you Nikki Tutorials for that. I've had my MacBook Air since 2013 and I started editing my videos from iMovie which is free for all Mac users and then just last year I really got the hang of Final Cut Pro and started and started using it more often for my videos and I'm really loving it. It makes you more creative and it made editing more fun. Thumbnails for me are very important. Sometimes I just have to do my thumbnails first before I edit my video so that I'll just get so that I can get my vibe. I'm using pigmonkey.com. It's a free online editing tool and there are many tutorials on YouTube for this site. So I hope you like this short video. Give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Subscribe if you still haven't. And until my next video, remember to nurse the beauty in you. Bye!